Hello. I'm going to talk about the butt. It is a wonderful, wonderful construction that says many things about the human soul. <gasps> All right. We're going to talk about the butt, yes. And I find it a very intriguing thing. I stare at butts. Many butts. A lot of them. Men's butts. Women's butts. Children's butts. Old men butts. Old women butts. Now that probably got weird. But why? Why, 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 why? Well, let me tell you. The butt actually can tell a lot about a person. And, well, I found this out, and now I can't help but look at butts. And guess what? You are going to suffer the same fate. What I can tell about a butt is when a person bends over, you can recognize some insecurities about them. So, when the next time you see someone bend over, or even when you yourself bend over, think this. Hmm, I wonder if that person is self-conscious. Or, basically, how do they deal with vulnerability? Are they vulnerable? Are they worried about how other people view them? Or are they quite open about their vulnerabilities, I suppose you could say? Well, how can, we how can the butt show that kind of information? Well, when someone bends over and it's kind of tucked in, you know, like a, t like a dog, when they have their tail tucked underneath their legs and it's kind of hidden, then you can tell that the person is rather insecure, especially self-conscious of the people around them. And um, they just are not as open or vulnerable uh, than other people that have their butt sticking straight out. There's some people when they bend over, their butt whoosh, just sticks right out there and they have no shame whatsoever. Another thing I find quite interesting is that, and this is not always, but sometimes, people that have their butts kind of caved in are normally, but not all the time, older children in the family, like in the birth order, but it's not all the time. And then people that are the youngest in the family, normally the babies, normally they have butts that stick straight out when they bend over. They have no shame in ex expressing their dare at hair. <laughs> um, but interestingly enough, younger children find or seem to not have the same kind of social stresses older children have. But this is not for everyone. I've found on both ends when the older children are sticking their butts out and the younger children are sticking their butt earth and keeping their butts tucked in. So this is actually quite a good thing to address to you, good sir and madam, is that when you bend over, what does your butt do? And does, like, what would happen if you force yourself to go the other direction? Though I don't suggest if you already stick your butt out to, like, cower because it's not that you need to cower that's not what you need to to really have any self-improvement in that area but people who cower their butts as they bend over and they just kind of squeeze like squish it in next time when you bend over stick that thing out there a little bit be proud be proud of who you are and the butts you have been given Yes, and you will find that some of the constructs in your mind, or the, the, the strongholds, start to break a little bit. Now, it is not the foundation of your insecurity, but it will give you an upper hand, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, I hope you now love butts as much as I do, and go along life looking at butts, <laughs> and telling a lot about a person and yourself. Do you uh, find this kind of thing in your own, do you look at butts or do you look at any other things that people have that reveal their internal nature? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in another video or another life. You never know. Bye.